And now our kill the take for this lightweight scrap. Here is Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, the King! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Marlon Chico Dara! You ready to fight? Ready. Yeah. All right, here's Marlon Chito Vera, the proud, popular Ecuadorian in another big spot here tonight. Comes in tonight with more finishes than any Bantamweight in UFC history. That is not a misprint, and he has all but guaranteed another win by stoppage here tonight. Beautiful defense, nice ball. Straight right is there. Now gets an underhook to get a more dominant position. Just out of range with that right hand. And that one simply found the target. All right, so one minute into the fight, we've got a full-on brawl here, DC. It's great for the fans, not necessarily for the gas tank if this thing goes much longer. Not great for the gas tank, it's not good for the old doctor. Can't take so many upside the head. Somebody's going to sleep. Now he gets a more dominant position with the underhook. He is going to start to drive these over and over. You got to be careful here. You got to move. Oh, roundhouse kick. Add that to his highlight reel. Love the wrestling on display there. Nice takedown there. All right, stacking him up here, keeping the pressure on. I know you guys do a lot of this training with your jiu-jitsu coach there in San Jose. Oh, absolutely, but it's a difference. If your feet are on our hips, it's a problem. So we shove them through the middle. We shove them through the middle so that our legs can be what controls your feet. Right. We're not using our hands. I'm not using my hands. I'm using my legs to just kind of wheel and deal you from side to side. Then my upper body is free to punch. If you get your feet on my hips, you're out. Right. Then we'll just kick away. Good stick. Three minutes to go. Nice body shot. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. And again, right back to the well with the body. Circling away towards the left now. Oh, making this clinch work count. Lands the punch there. Big roundhouse now, just misses. Champ, look at that redness underneath his elbow. A lot of those strikes to the body starting to pile up. Getting beat up and being smart enough to not be headhunting the entire time. I like this. I like this approach. Front kick to the body is there. Nice work by Marlon Vera. That landed. the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Well, the strike lands, but just not doing a whole lot of damage because his stamina is low. Well, champ, I don't see that well, but it's hard to miss the redness underneath that elbow. A lot of bodily investment from his opponent tonight. Yeah, it's an investment. John, it may not pay dividends right now, but the more you go there, the more damage you do eventually, it will show itself. Right now, it's starting to show. Good series of kicks by him there, DC. He certainly has that part of his game going tonight. He's a fantastic kickboxer, but tonight is the kicks that lead the day. Oh. Big elbow there, Lance. Oh. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. All right, so an opportunity goes by the boards. He had him stunned, nearly finished, and now his opponent has won. There's a whole bunch of cover. Now we've got to deal with everything that we can bring at him. He should have got the fight finished at that time. Ferris going for a choke, and this might just be a matter of time. Oh, submission defense on full display there. He said that he was very aware of what this guy brought to the octagon and the show in that defense. And now he's got the back. 
great submission defense on this play tonight. Vera is in half guard now. Remaining active here in his pursuit of the submission. Another attempt here. And he is back up to his feet. A huge block there. Oh. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. All right, there's the horn. How about that round? He got him badly there early on. You thought that maybe that was going to be the beginning of the end. At the very least here, got to think he's going to try to get him out of here in this next round. J.A., he's on skates. Yeah. I mean, he was on skates. His ability to withstand that avalanche is commendable. But he has to change something as he approaches the next round. All right, so there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned a huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. Ready. They have to figure Ready. something out, make good. some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of this fight. Pretty good execution for him there on the sidekick, PC. Just really feeling himself one of those traditional martial arts techniques that are making their way to the U.S. Design. Just out of range with that strike. Oh, he lands another debilitating strike to the body, and he continues to punish his opponent's midsection. Had a lot of success with it in the previous round, and picking up exactly where he left off. Beautiful left-hand punch. does a great job of getting that leg kick to the target. But he needs to check one of these kicks. He has to discourage him from throwing this kick over and over again. Pretty significant welt to the left side. Let's go, you can do this. And once again, looking for that highlight reel KO with that front kick. Oh, Superman punch is good. You can tell he's been working on that. Oh, how he landed, yep. Got that single collar tie locked in. Ooh, found a home for that knee. Oh, and he lands another knee there. DC, it doesn't always pay to be the taller fighter. In this instance, it most certainly did. Well, the more things change, the more they stay the same. He continues to land a high volume of strikes on his opponent at will. Ferris going for the rear naked choke. Ooh, that rear naked choke is tight. Oh, somehow, some way he got out. These guys are back and forth, but the submission defense wins this transition. Oh, that looks painful. That's got to be it. His world is going to fall. Oh, he gets out. He was able to get his momentum going back towards the corner, then back in the opposite direction to get his hips back and his chest down towards the mat. And you just spilled your popcorn all over I the broadcast. I did, John. You know I love popcorn. <laughs> Well, you know, I don't like the D very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in the gi at some point. Well, he's got his back now. Setting up another submission. Ooh, that's tight. I'd be tight. It's starting to get really tight in there. Oh, belly down now. Oh, he got out. And notice how he got his body all the way across to the opposite side. Now, he's in the on belly. But it's much better than where he was before. Really good job with the ground and pound. And now you can see some visible swelling on his opponent. All these actions, though, these big actions got to wear on the gas tank of both guys. So the crowd absolutely loving it as these fighters work their way back to the feet. The fighters are back to their feet now. And they can take in the applause because they deserve it after that grappling exchange. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same. Oh, you gotta like that as a two-time United States Olympian as he goes to the ankle pit to get the takedown. I mean, it speaks to the wrestling acumen. Just the ability to find any takedown available. What a beautiful ankle pit. Oh, somehow he gets out. Fantastic submission, D. Back to the feet now. Jeff, these submission setups aren't that bad, but he keeps getting denied. Yeah, because he's not panicking. He's taking his time. He knows what to do whenever something is coming in his direction. It's beautiful. 
It's beautiful to watch a guy that's comfortable even when he's under attack. Oh, no oh, punches and punches. We approach the one minute mark here in the second round. Oh, he's staying busy here, connected with a barrage of punches. Great timing on that double leg. Not there yet, but might get the submission here shortly. Back to the stand-up now, both fighters upright. She missed with that jab attempt there. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Big knee there. 20 seconds to go round two. All right, so the redness is omnipresent now. He has absorbed a whole lot of body strikes. Pretty good poker face, but I'm not sure how many of these he wants to take. No, he doesn't. He needs to do something different. He cannot continue to get beat up like this. But it's on his opponent. It's on the guy that is landing these strikes to continue down the path until he makes you change something. Do this over and over because it seems like this is your easiest path to victory. All right, so there is the horn. That means the round is over. We nearly had a finish due to a submission, but I think you got to give credit to both the offense and the defense. Though. Yeah, you got to give credit to both guys. But nothing more beautiful than an extended grappling exchange like we just witnessed. One guy is submitted, one guy escaping. It's one of the most exciting things you can watch in all of this martial arts. Oh, nice double leg, yes. Oh, he's got that submission tight now. That heel hook looks tight and painful. What he's got to do now, though, is keep that heel hooked inside the crevice of his arm if he wants to finish the fight. Oh, out of danger now. It looked like we might get a win by submission instead. Right back to his feet. Back. Oh, nice ankle pick there. His wrestling chops on full display tonight. Full display. And it also shows you, John, that he's willing to do it in any way, shape, or form to get to the finish line and get his hand up. He's out. What submission defense on this play? Both fighters get up now. There he goes. Moves to his back again. Fighters separate from the clinch. Oh, lands another pinpoint strike there, and no surprise to see the swelling upstairs get worse. That accuracy, man, it's something to behold. This guy is so good at finding his target. Now, oh! beautiful diving strike. We might get a stoppage here. So no judges needed tonight as he pounds him out for the TKO. I'm hoping I get an invite to the after <laughs> All right, here now, Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 25 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by TKO, the King! Well, what a win for that young man tonight by TKO, and if the judges were looking at their phones, it's okay, we don't need the scorecards. We don't need your scorecards. Do as you may, proceed as you may, because... <laughs>